Ah, venomous snakes, nature's slithery surprise packages of danger. These creatures have been freaking out humans since, well, forever. Despite the fact that you're more likely to win a dance-off against a kangaroo than be bitten by one of these legless wonders, our fear of them remains as irrational as thinking a goldfish could do your taxes. Now let's talk about the world's deadliest snakes. A group of reptiles so fearsome, they could star in their own horror movie, except they're terrible at remembering lines. Inland Tapin, Oxyurinus microlepidotus. Ah, the Inland Tapin, also known as the Fierce Snake. Don't let the name fool you. It's not fierce in personality, but in venom potency. This Australian native is the Michael Jordan of venomous snakes, holding the title for the most venomous snake in the world. One bite from this shy, reclusive creature has enough venom to take out 100 grown men, or roughly half the audience at a small rock concert. But here's the twist. There are hardly any recorded human fatalities from an inland tapin bite. Why? because it's as introverted as a snake can get, preferring the remote outback over bustling beaches. It's like the hermit of the snake world, only emerging to feed on rodents, which it does with remarkable precision and efficiency. Black Mamba, Dendrospis polelopis. Next up is the Black Mamba, not to be confused with the basketball legend Kobe Bryant's nickname. This African snake is the continent's longest venomous snake and is revered for its speed. It can slither at speeds of up to 20 kilometers slash 8, 12 miles per hour, making it the Usain Bolt of the snake world. Its venom is a potent cocktail of neurotoxins, and without antivenom, a bite can be fatal in as little as 7 to 15 hours. But it's not just its venom that's impressive, it's also its attitude. The black mamba is notoriously aggressive when cornered and won't hesitate to strike repeatedly. It's like that grumpy neighbor who doesn't want you retrieving your ball from their yard. Despite its fearsome reputation, it generally prefers to avoid human contact. So it's not all doom and gloom with this slithery speedster. King Cobra, Ophiophagus Hanna. The King Cobra, the Elvis Presley of the snake world, is not only the longest venomous snake, but it also has a pretty impressive singing career. If you count hissing as singing, that is. Found predominantly in Southeast Asia and India, this snake can reach lengths of up to 18 feet, 5.5 meters, making it the longest venomous snake in the world. The King Cobra's venom isn't the most potent, but it makes up for it in volume. A single bite can deliver enough neurotoxin to take down an elephant or 20 people. Interestingly, they are also the only snakes that build nests for their eggs. Yes, they're venomous and family-oriented. Eastern Brown Snake, Tudonaja Textilis Meet the eastern brown snake, or as I like to call it, the down under danger noodle. This Australian native is the second most venomous snake in the world. It's a bit of a hothead and has a reputation for being aggressive. But really, it's just misunderstood. It only attacks when it feels threatened. The eastern brown is quite the adaptable snake, found everywhere from farms to the suburbs. So it's like that one neighbor who's at every community event, but you really wish wasn't. Saw-scaled viper, Aegis carinatus. The saw-scaled viper may not win any beauty contests, but it's definitely a contender for causing the most snake bite fatalities among humans. This little snake, found in parts of the Middle East and Central Asia, is relatively small but has a temper as fiery as a chili pepper. It gets its name from the saw-like scales on its body, which it rubs together to create a sizzling warning sound. It's like nature's version of a rattlesnake, but with a bad attitude. Fur de lance, Bothrops asper. The fur de lance, or Tertiopello, is Central and South America's nightmare. This snake is like the local bully of the rainforest, feared for its potent venom and quick temper. It's responsible for more human deaths in its region than any other group of snakes. The fur de lance doesn't play around. It's known for its unpredictability and willingness to strike. Think of it as the moody teenager of the snake world, but with venomous fangs. Russell's Viper, Domboya russeli. Last but not least, Russell's Viper, the snake that could have had a career as a model with its distinctive chain-like pattern. Found in Asia, this snake is responsible for more snake bite incidents and deaths than any other Asian snake. It's not particularly fast or aggressive, 
but it's like that one coworker who's super quiet but surprisingly deadly in a board game. The venom of Russell's viper is highly potent, causing pain, swelling, and if untreated, can lead to fatal bleeding disorders. Coastal tapen, Oxyurenus scutellatus. The coastal tapen, often overshadowed by its more venomous cousin, the inland tapen is no less impressive. This Australian snake is like the cool surfer of the venomous snake world, preferring the coastal regions of Australia and New Guinea. It's known for being particularly long, up to 6.6 .6 feet, 2 meters, and having a highly sophisticated venom delivery system. Its venom is a potent mix that can cause paralysis and bleeding disorders. Despite its dangerous potential, the coastal tapen is quite shy and would much rather avoid confrontation. Think of it as the introverted, yet highly skilled, martial artist of the snake realm. Green Mamba, Dendrospis viridis. Last but not least, let's talk about the Green Mamba, the less famous but equally captivating cousin of the Black Mamba. Residing in the coastal regions of East Africa, this bright green snake is a true arboreal artist, spending most of its time in trees. It's like the acrobat of the snake world, gracefully moving among the branches. The green mamba's venom is highly potent, and it can be quite quick to strike when threatened. However, like many of the snakes on this list, it prefers to keep to itself and avoid human interaction. It's the treat-hugging, peace-loving hippie of the venomous snakes, but with a bite that's anything but mellow. Each of these snakes, with their unique characteristics and habitats, plays a crucial role in their ecosystems. They're fascinating, fearsome, and a reminder of the incredible diversity of life on our planet. Just remember, if you ever encounter them in the wild, admiration is best done from a safe distance.